Hello, my name's Suzanne. I've been asked to make a little video on the periodic table that I created in Minecraft. So I decided to turn it into a little lesson for the kids to learn about the period periodic table, elements and atoms. So I've got some notes here because I do tend to go off on one. So hopefully this will keep me on track of what I was going to say. So I thought I'd start off with the basic of what is an element, right? First of all, the periodic table is a list of all the known elements that we know about at the moment. So an element is a substance, whether it be solid, liquid or gas, that is made up of only one type of atom. Now everything around us is made up of atoms and elements are only one type of atom. Atoms are the basic building block of ordinary matter and just because it's interesting the term atom comes from the Greek word indivisible because it was once thought that atoms were the smallest things in the universe and could not be divided. We now know that that's not true, but I shall come back to that. Right, so I conveniently have a little example here. This is gold, AU. These are my gold atoms. So we'll get them out of here. So we put all the atoms together. La la la. Ooh. and we have gold right so there are currently 118 known elements of this 118 between 90 and 98 are natural the reason that there is a query on the number is because between 4 and 8 of the natural elements occur only because of radioactive decay caused by people so that means between 20 and 28 are man-made, depending on whether you include the radioactive decay elements. So, oh, and also I say made by man. The proper word is synthesized, but made, created by man. Right, so back to elements. Many elements, so remember elements are the things made up of only one type of atom. Uh, we come into contact with daily and you probably know more than you realise. So we're going to have a look at a few well-known elements. So here we have gold, which we often use for jewellery. We all know what gold is. Iron, which is often mixed with carbon, which is another element to make steel. Silver, again used for jewellery. Oxygen, which obviously very important. Use that to breathe. Aluminium, or if you're American, aluminium which is used for cans, foils, aeroplane parts, and lots and lots of other things. Chlorine, here's my little swimming pool. We use chlorine to help clean the water. Nickel, we use in rechargeable batteries. This is my little battery here. Copper, we use in electrical wiring because it's a good conductor of electricity. Zinc helps prevent rusting to iron and steel. And helium, I know this is a Minecraft snowball, but we're gonna pretend this is a helium balloon which we all like to play with at parties, but is actually really, really good because we use it for MRI machines. So helium is very important. Right, moving on. Now that we know what an element is, we're gonna have a look at what an atom is. So we know that elements are made up of one type of atom. Atoms are extremely small and are made up of even smaller parts called electrons, protons, and neutrons. Protons and neutrons are in the centre of the atom in what's called the nucleus. Electrons spin around the nucleus. So here we have my Minecraft version of an atom. This one is helium. Now atoms are always pictated when you look at pictures of them as circles. Minecraft is obviously the game of blocks so we're going to have to pretend this is some sort of cubist atom. So these are the two electrons going around the outside in the middle. Red is for protons here and orange for neutrons. So helium has two protons, two neutrons and two electrons. Because it's got two protons, the atomic number is two. Two for helium. Over here we have carbon, which isn't working very well because there's too many mine cuts. So we'll give them a little push. So carbon has an atomic number of six, which means that there are six protons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Carbon also has six neutrons and six electrons spinning around the outside. Right, so that's my Minecraft version of two atoms. 
Right, oh, and just because out of interest, protons are, or well, they have a positive charge. Electrons, electrons give off a negative charge, and neutrons give off no charge. So I like to think of positive protons, neutral neutrons, and negative electrons, which doesn't quite flow, but anyway, you get the idea. Right, now we're going to move on to the actual periodic table. Let's go over here. So here we have my periodic table in Minecraft, which took absolutely ages because I did it in survival, and I had to wait for all the sheep to grow the right colour wool. So this is a key for the periodic table. You'll find this in all the pictures you look at on Google. So for example, alkali metal. So all the elements on the periodic table that have a red background is an alkali metal. So that's all these ones over here. They're very reactive metals. And then alkali earth. These are also reactive metals, but not as reactive. So each element in the periodic table has this key to show you what it is, basic metal, semi-metal, non-metal, noble gas, etc, etc. Right, let's go and have a look at, let's look at carbon because we looked at that one earlier. So carbon is up here. So they're all in number order, order and carbon has an atomic number of six. So it has six protons. So on each of these, you'll see they have a number at the top. That's the atomic number and how many protons that atom has. Underneath, you have the symbol, which is an abbreviation, which makes it easier when you're doing equations. Um, so carbon is C, nitrogen N, oxygen O. Underneath that, we have the full name of the element. So carbon, boron, nitrogen, etc. Now underneath in normal periodic tables you also have another number which is the atomic mass. Now I've left that out because I thought it was getting too complicated for the little ones. Right, um, what was I going to go on to next? Oh yeah, right. If you look at most um, images on Google of the periodic table, you will find that these four here, this one, UUT, element 113, this is UUP, UUS, and UUO. Now, the reason for that is because these were temporary names given to these elements um, because they were newly discovered and they had not been proven to exist or named yet. So they discover or create, they synthesize these elements, but they hadn't proved their existence and they hadn't been named yet. So on most periodic tables, these are called UUT, UUP, UUS, UUO. Now these were officially given names in 2016. So on the newest periodic tables, you will find that these elements actually have names. So I'm gonna take these away because mine is a new periodic table. So we actually have the right elements here. So 113, and you have to uh, excuse my pronunciation because I'm not very good at knowing how to pronounce the words. Number 113 is called Nihonium, which comes from the word Nippon, a Japanese word for Japan. It was created in Russia by Japanese scientists and it is extremely radioactive. So that's one of the newest elements created. Over here, element 115 is called Moscovium. It was created in Russia by Russian and American scientists and named after the capital of Russia, Moscow. So Moscovium. Over here, element 117 was created in 2004, again by Russian and American scientists, and is a synthetic super heavy chemical element and is the second heaviest element known. Now the name Tennessee, uh, Tennessee, sorry, comes from the American state Tennessee, right? And the last one, 118, is called Oganizon, something like that, and it is named after an 83-year-old Russian phys physicist, and it was created by Russian and American scientists. So they were all named in 2016, and that is why. They are not on most of the periodic tables. Right, 
So now we've had a look at the periodic table, we know what the elements are, we know about the atomic number, the symbol, the element. So we're going to have a quick look at a couple of compounds just to finish the video. Right, a compound is a group of at least two different types of atoms. So these elements only have one type of atom, compounds have at least two types. So it's when the atoms mix together to create everything else. So obviously the atom or the elements are the building blocks. When you add the elements together or the elements go together, you get everything else. So we'll start by looking at the, probably the most well-known and easiest one. So if you have one oxygen atom, so O, and two hydrogen atoms, H, and they join together, bond together, you get H2O, also known as water. So one oxygen atom, two hydrogen, H2O. Right, I've got one more over here. See if anyone can work out what it is before I tell you. So this compound is called C8H10N4O2 and it has eight carbon atoms, C8, 10 hydrogen atoms, H10, four nitrogen atoms, N4, and two oxygen atoms, O2. So do you think you can guess what this is? Let's have a look. It actually is doo -doo, caffeine. Yay! How mums keep going in the morning. Right, so I think that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Bye!